dear students and <coughs> sorry working accountants welcome to my smart tally prime class youtube channel so in the last videos we discussed how to open the tally prime how to close the closing means shutting down how to shut the tally prime and then how to create a company and then how to shut a company closing means only closing from the gateway of tally but it will be available in the database it is not deleted that's just shutting the company changing the company or working with one company making entries in one company you close it and change another change to another company that is called changing the company this will close down and that company will open okay so changing the company alteration if you want to make any mistakes there if you want to rectify the mistakes or make any edit it's also called edit edit the information of the company we have to alter the company then we have to how to alter the company and if you want to close the company that is permanently even without the without keeping in the database that is totally removing from the database also is called deleting shutting down means closing down it will close down in the gateway of tally from the list and it will be available in the database in the select company page but deleting means completely removing from the database also that is in the select company page also in the data folder it will be not be available it will be removed that is why it is called deleting the company so we will discuss all these things and now and before that one small request please all the students who have not yet subscribed my channel please subscribe my channel and click the bell icon besides that and select all so that you will get notification for all the videos which i upload and then share the channel link with all your friends and then when you are watching the video please watch the video till the end because if you skip the video in the middle the balance information or balanced subject you will not you will miss it you will not understand that is why please watch the video till the end and after watching the video please definitely click the like button there is thumb button will be there up the thumb up that you click that so it means you are liking that and then you discuss i mean sorry you post your idea about the video in the comment section that means you post the comment that that if you post the comment only i can understand how you are receiving and how is my video all these things whether it is very good good or not you post the what you call uh, comment so i will understand that is the communication between you and me every time you cannot call and we cannot call and we cannot talk over the phone with everyone so if you post the comment we can understand and we can have the communication so that is the communication between us so please do that now we will enter the subject after learning all these things now there is one more topic but it's not most important because most of the institutes and also many persons they are not uh, teaching this and they are not taking up this topic that just they are uh, skipping the topic but it is better to learn that also it's very simple one that is called group company that means if a company it has many branches or subsidiary companies they are called member companies so they have some many members in one company that means all these companies are called individual companies are called or branches they are called branches or member companies and the head of the this group the main company is called group company so there will be some bra four branches so for all the four branches one consolidated account will be entered in the that will be taken the into the one company that is called group company so how to create a group company how to create a group company so how to create how to make any alteration or how to what you call uh, delete the group company all this we have to learn okay so we will enter into that so we will go to the screen now we will go to screen and we will learn now how to create the group company and uh, all the related matters so really all the matters related to the group company so group company you see here you can understand here see how to create a group company with member companies in the group there are the many companies member companies or branches or subsidiary this is a holding company and subsidiary company like that so we will give the name group company means it is not the name actually 
whatever name is given, we will enter that. We take it as group company for learning purpose. And then, and alteration or creation, alteration, deletion of the group company or member companies. In the member companies also, we will make alteration, deletion, and first we will create them also. Create alteration, deletion, all that we do. So, how to do all these things that we have to learn. So, before that, I will open the tally, single click on the taskbar or double click on the desktop. So, I double click with that. So, now the tally frame is opening. Now, our A task, task is we have to create the group company. We have to create the group company. But here, we have to remember one thing. Opening this one, we have to create the group company. So, in order to create the group company, that means before creating the group company, first we have to create the member companies. Member companies means member companies or branches or subsidiaries, whatever name it they are called. We'll take it as member companies. The member companies in that group. So that member companies we have to create. Member companies, there are just like the other companies see here. Rajesh Traders, Ra Ra Rangat Enterprises, Ratna Traders, Ratan Traders, Vengadas Enterprises. Just like this, they are also ordinary companies. So how we can create? First time, when you come to the select company page, we have to create by clicking the create company page, that button. Then we will create that. We will say here, by example, We'll take member company one. We'll take it as member company one. Then Telangana. Hmm. Telangana and everything. Okay. Then we will see instead of going by going to the end by pressing every time uh, yell, enter enter. Just we can save it. Uh, control A. Control A if you click. It. We will go to the end. And then now here. Company features alteration, they are not required now at present. They are, we will learn them at a later stage. So just escape, escape, escape. So that's all. See, company number one, that is mass member company one is created. This is just like ordinary company. We know already how to create. Again, we will here, first time we created from the from the select company page. When it is created, immediately after creation, it is loaded. Which is, where, where it is created or any other company selected, immediately that company is loaded in the gateway of tally. So it is loaded in the gateway of tally. Hereafter, again, we need not go see, click, click, pressing Alt F3. We need not go to the, we need not go to the list. We need not go to the list. Here in the gateway of tally itself, here itself we can make any number of companies we can create. So here, go to Alt K company info. Go to Alt K. The first one is create. So the same company creation page will open here also. Here we will create member company two. Created member company two. So to create a group company, we require minimum, more than one means minimum two. Two or more member companies required. Otherwise, with one company, there will be no group company. There is no group. If there is only one company, it is not called group. That's why group company cannot be created. Group company can be created only when the member companies are more than one. That is two or more. We can have any number of companies. Two, three, four, ten, hundred. Like that. So it is created. This is also Telangana we are taking. Then control A. Saved. See here. This come alt, uh, company features alteration. We will skip. And escape, escape, escape. See here. We created Three companies. Okay. We'll, if you want, we'll complete another also. Two and a half. So we completed two member companies. These member companies are ordinary companies, normal companies. That is why the, when you are creating, see, when you are creating this normal company, what do you got? Company creation page. This is means, this is company creation means normal company creation. Normal company creation. So normal company creation, we know. Now, we will you see one more thing to do. So in these companies, we can make entries also. We can make here afterwards also we can make. So for example, if I take company one, see whichever is we select, changing the company means, changing the company means just F3. F3, in this, there is one is loaded. If you want to check two and we can do, you can do like this. F3, here is on the right side also. And here also, F3 change company. Here also, F3 F3 company means change company. Here, instead of that, 
we can just click this that will be selected if you click on one so one will be selected that will be highlighted that means it is selected okay now in the one company we can go and we can just how to make vouchers that we will learn later just i am making now i am making a voucher that here we just we make one entry on 1st april that is we the person owner our company introduced capital that we will take so we will get cash and it is capital in the case of every company when the software is loaded there are two accounts that is they are by default they are created already we need not create them any account we have to create only once only so once if you create every time we enter in that only we need not enter again similarly here cash account and another one profit and loss account these two accounts are already created in the software by default so these two companies we should not create again so that we have to take those only so cash is already existing so we have taken that and then we are introducing capital so cash account debit and inter capital account is credit so that one we have to create a new one that how to create a ledger account that next in the next videos we will learn that just i am creating see here this is called capital capital we will take and it comes under group this groups also when you are creating ledger accounts first you have learn about groups because every ledger account will be placed under one group so what are the different types of groups available and which account is to be which account is to be placed under which group that we will learn okay so here capital account that's all. then control yes control a control a so it is saved and now that is saved and we will take capital account is saved just we will take a suppose we will take 2000 we will take 2 lakhs sorry we will take 2 lakhs so i have taken 2 lakhs it is over so come one amount is entered in the member company one now we will take up member company two here also we will prepare enter we will take on second second april we will take out in first april only we will take only first april again here also okay this is another company so this is a new company so in this again we have to create capital account because capital account is not there in the group company number 1 capital account is there here i have to create again and then on control a it is saved here also here will take up for example 3 lakhs okay so here we created two member companies and we introduce some capital also say there one go to balance sheet see here what is the capital 2 lakhs and on the, capital is liability it is shown on the liability side and on the capital 2 lakhs is brought in the shape of cash so cash is an asset it is shown on the asset side under the group it will be placed in groups under this group current assets we will come later so if we enter that we will say cash in hand 2 lakhs so 2 lakhs asset 2 lakhs capital okay again go to company number 2 company number 2 if you click that that will be loaded so if you go again go to balance sheet see here balance capital is 3 lakhs current assets means there is cash in the current assets cash in hand 3 lakhs so capital and both these sides will be equal for every debit there will be a credit equal credit that is a principle of double entry for every debit there should be an equal credit okay so okay see so we entered the entries also in these two companies now after entries we can make later also but i did in the beginning itself but after creating the member companies only we have to create the we have to create the group company otherwise it will not take that is there is another process this this is easy thing so now we will create a group company so again here from the gateway of tally number 1 we created in the select company page after that we came to gateway of tally here after you can create any number of companies in the gateway of tally only number 2 we created in the gateway of tally now here also we will create in the gateway of tally see first button is create the same thing is opening here okay here you see company creation but here in the case of two member companies they are already ordinary normal companies that is why simply this is called company creation means creation of a normal company so those two normal companies who created but now we are going to create now group company so in this case this page should be not company creation company creation means normal company company you should be we have to make it as group company creation group company 
creation. So how to make it? See, come to the right, in the right side button bar. See there, group company, there is one button. The shortcut key is, single line means Alt R, Alt R. So click the group company with mouse or in that keyboard, click Alt R. You do anything, then this will become group company creation. Say I'm clicking that, you see, I clicked it, you see. This is, again, this is group company. Suppose we now we change it to ordinary, ordinary company means normal company or regular company. So again, regular is there. Again, we create alt R. Again, it comes to see company creation, normal. Going back, coming back. See here. So I created, I clicked it. So it is called group company creation. Group company creation. There is only small thing. One little difference will be there. On the right side, financial year and all these things will not be there. But additional information required here you see we call it as group company call it as group company so i have taken group company created then telangana okay india whatever is given but one critical thing is here additional this is additional information required so we are creating a group company so every group company will have member companies so here we have to give the list of the member companies here member member companies so here we have two so two members, companies, we have to add. Suppose you have four or five, all the four or five we have to add. So, so you are selecting here, just click, it is added. Next number to click, added. If there is three, click, added. Four, click. Now, after two, there is no list, member company. So end of list, click it, access. Now see, group companies created. See here, normal companies are called so regular companies. Regular companies, there are member company, one and member company, these two, these two are, Regular companies, member one, member company one, member company two. They are called regular companies. And in the group company, these two member, member companies are added. See, this is group company. Under group company, member company one, member company are available. So these companies are available. That is, regular companies are available. And in the group company also, these member companies are added. Now you see, I will, member companies we selected. In the balance sheet, you see two lakhs. And then member company two, we select balance sheet, it is three lakhs. Total capital is five lakhs. So in the group company, the consulted amount will be shown. Now we see, you select a group company, group company, see the balance sheet. What is the capital available? See five lakhs, two lakhs, one company, three lakhs, one company. Total is five lakhs. So this is there. So this like this, we have to create the group company. So first we have to create member companies. Then we have to create group company. But when they are creating the group company, these member companies are to be added to the group company. Hereafter, whatever you make, any entry you make in these member companies, that will be taken. For example, so it is completed, it is created, entries are made, group company is created, these member companies are added. Now we say, for example, we'll go to number one company. Again, you see, again, on second, we'll take, we'll take on second cash account. Again, capital, we will take, the, see, capital account is already created. So we need not create again. So just capital. If you see here, if you just to type here, C, the list will be, it will come. Otherwise, C means capital will come. Otherwise, just there, you enter, you just you click space bar. You click space bar. If you click space bar also, the list will come. Here, if you click C, all the accounts, with starting with C, we only will be displayed. Will be displayed on the right side. If you click, if you write, I mean type C. If you don't type anything, just enter, just click, get press bar, press space bar. All the accounts will be displayed. Not only C, all the accounts will be displayed on the right side. So now we enter capital account. So capital account is already available. So select the capital account. So here again, we will make one lakh, for example. So already here come company one has company one has uh one lakh uh, two lakhs now we are entering one lakh total will be three lakhs and company two is already has three lakhs total will be six lakhs now you see come back see here company two Co already company two in the beginning itself three lakhs company one now we previously it was one lakh now we introduced again one lakh Three, two lakhs and one lakh. Total will be three lakhs. Now, what is the total capital of the group? What is the total capital of the group? Total capital of the group is one second, one second. 
Okay. So there is some problem in the camera. So I, what I did is I closed the camera. So now I teach, I will take up the balance topic without camera. Okay. Now you see, three lakhs is there. So in both the companies now three lakhs. That means previously the group company capital was five lakhs, two plus three. Now we introduced another one lakh. So now the total will be five. It should be six lakhs. You see, group company we selected. See the balance sheet. See the capital is six lakhs. So whatever you make alteration or anything in that, and even not only entry amounts, even some alterations also, we can do this one. So like this, we have to do. So creating the company and making alterations also that we will take up later. Okay. So when you created the member companies and after that you created the group company, now everything is okay. For example, now we already created some member companies and already created group companies. Okay, so member companies are created before the group company. So after member companies, we created the group company. Now, for example, suppose if, if we create another group company now, if we create another group company, see what we'll do. You see here, now go to here in Gateway of Delhi only from Alt K. Here, you come here, here group company, group company three. So we created group company three. Okay, we created group company three. So escape, escape, escape. See here, see normal companies, normal companies, are group company, sorry, 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 not group company, member company, alter. This is, this is not group company, member company three. This all you have to learn, what are the mistakes we are doing, how to do, see it is, by mistake we made it as group company. So that is how to be changed, how it is to be changed. So go to Alt K, uh, Alt K, then select Alter, now it is disabled here. Select Alter and, and, and select that group company three. Now we, I made it this one. So now, okay, now see, now these are the, actually these are the regular companies. This is the group company and these are members of the group company, included in the group company. Here, one, two, three we created for example for three also we will make one entry we will make one entry the first april itself no not first april we'll take up second april see here cash and this is a new company so uh, capital account is to be created so capital account capital 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 saved okay so here we will take up for example four lakhs we will take up three plus three six okay We'll take up four lakhs. So we take up four lakhs. Now, so it is capital account is three plus three, six plus four, 10 will be total. So member company three is created, but this member company is not showing in the group company. Why? Because first we created one, two, and we created a group company, added these two into group company. Now we created company number three. So it is also to be added in the group company it is to be added now so that is why now we will go to group company and in the group company uh, adding means alteration go to alter alter take group company here come here come to the end second company is over after that enter now company three is to be selected so company three added okay there is a small technique here i am surprising things here here see so normal companies one, two, three, normal companies are there. But in the group company, only one, two, three. We added, created third one, and we added also third one also. We added, and uh, we and made, made an entry also. But it is not shown in group company. Group company, only one and two, or three. It is not shown. Where is the third company in the group? See, that is because. So in the internet or in any side, if we make any changes, what we will do? We will refresh it. We will refresh, or that is also called reload. We will refresh or reload the site, then the change will take effect. Isn't it? Similarly, here also, we created the third company entry with, along with entry. After this group is created, group company is created. Already group company is there. So now we created this means it is also added means it is not taking because the all company is created after the group company. That way, that is why we have to refresh the group company. In this tally, there is no refresh button. Here, refresh means close that company again open. That is, shut the company and reload the company. 
shut the company means closing reloading means opening shut close down and again open so that means we have to shut this company so what is what is that how to shut the company see shut company or control f3 if you click that which company are going shutting shut down group company are going to shut down see here group company is not there but these three companies are here these are the regular companies they will not go anywhere whatever you create whatever you do they will be there in the uh, get you have tally as well as in the tally main not call uh, in the database also that is in the data folder also that is company select company page is called the database okay here now it is closed now you have to load the group company loading means you have to select that and load it so why did select and load for that purpose you have to go to select company page so how will we say alt f3 alt f3 if you click we will go to group company so now see here you see one more another thing also for every membership company the dates are given the dates are given we are making entries in this so that dates are given as per the dates are given but the group when you are making changes here entries we are giving automatically go to group company in the group company the finally it is not given it is given as group company all the changes will be in this companies member companies then that automatically the change will take place in group company also now we have to select this and you have to load in this see now it is loaded here when you have select that and we will come back again to get you have tally the group company is loaded now we see all the three companies are shown so that is taken so already three regular companies are normal companies regular companies are there and the group company is there in the group company also there are three companies now if you make third company in the third company or one two three any company you make any alteration or any changes that will take that will take effect in group company also group company also so company for example company number 3 we made entry and everything we did we added into it but it is not taken but now it is once only it is taken now for the company 3 now we will make one entry so cash account debit second itself here is capital is already created capital account here we will take one lakh one minute before that i will tell you so total what is the total of capital 3 plus 3 plus 4 10 10 lakhs see so select the company go to balance sheet see what is the capital 10 lakh first company 3 lakhs second company 3 lakhs third company we we have introduced capital 4 lakhs total is 10 lakhs so in those companies the capital will be the respect to amount but in the group company consolidated amount will be shown so here one 10 lakh is shown now for example now we will go so in the third company again for example this is a new company created after group company so third company here we will go to we will make an entry here see here cash account cash account capital account capital account we suppose we introduce 2 lakhs so total capital will be 10 plus 2 12 lakhs see here it is i mean the entry is made after that it is added and uh, refreshed the group company is shut down and again reloaded then this three third company is also added and it is taken into group company now if you make changes also they will take so in the group company you see what is the capital see balance sheet 6 lakhs first it was 3 lakh 2 lakhs first it was 2 lakhs now it is 4 lakhs first 4 lakhs now 2 lakhs total 6 lakhs capital there total also 10 lakhs now it is 2 lakhs group company it will be 12 lakhs you see 12 lakhs so there was 10 already now in the company number 3 we introduced 2 lakhs so it has become 12 lakhs understand now right like so this is how we will we create companies so first to create member company then create group company if any member company is created after creating the group company then that will be it is to be added to the any everything every company is to be added to the group company we have to add it to the group company and after adding close the company shut the company group company and again reload the group company that new company also will be shown in the group company okay this is how to create all these companies okay and we know these member companies are there their members are regular companies in the case of regular companies how to make alteration how to make change the company how to make alteration is how to alter how to delete all this we know for for this normal companies we already in the last videos we have known we have discussed all this but what to make about the group company if we make any alteration created 
now alteration as well as deletion suppose what is the procedure to make alteration so select the group company select the group company go to alt k then go to alt page in this select the group company so group company if you select when you are making alteration the creation page will it will go see here group company creation page in the case of normal companies company creation page in the case of group group company creation page so in this case here when you are creating it is showing creation now we are making alteration that is why group company alteration so in this for example suppose if you want to give we want to give this what do you call uh, email address we did not give sir www email not email or not website means we will just www.ee.com for example we are making the alteration means we are adding that now you save it okay so we made the alteration now you go and see this view this this one you will understand so not this collect select this one go to alteration page to view the details also alteration page see here it is already saved so it is saved in the group company okay this is alteration in the group company and again another alteration for example if you go to group company alter select group company so in this group company suppose if you want to deal if you want to remove one company one member company removing means removing or closing or shut deleting from the group company not deleting from the database so it will be available in the gateway of tally all the three companies will be available they will be available in the database in this as select company page is the database that is the data file data folder so in the select company page the data will be available in the gateway of tally also the data will be available all the three companies but that will one company will be deleted in the group company only so in one company will be deleted in the group company so this is called alteration not deleting group company is altered how there are three companies one company is you are removing means group company is altered deleting means go closing down totally about the group company here suppose for example if you want to delete number two company here how you delete generally just like others alt d that we cannot do so in this case you spray you press space bar you press space bar if you press space bar two company has gone now third company you have to take here two company we removed then select this third company enter see one and three what about two two has gone from this list that is from the group company it is removed but it will be available there yeah jacob see here now you see in the in the, this, in the, the normal companies all the three companies are there okay but in the group company again are three they are showing three how why it is showing three so we made alteration so what we are never we make alteration that is adding a new company deleting a new company changing a new company anything that is in the group company there are member companies are there in the member companies we make any change adding a new member company deleting a new member member company whatever you do every time we have to shut the group company reload for entries no problem whatever entry you make whatever alterations you make it will take but deleting if any company is deleted or added added or deleted then it will be added or deleted then it is to be closed and reloaded again now we see go to shut down show to shut company take this company group company so it is shut group company closed isn't it so these three are there Member company one and two, they are always they will be there in the tally. I mean, uh, in the uh, gateway of tally, they will be available, and they will take up. See, in the member company, there is a select company page means database. Database also one two three available. Now we have to load the company. See here, group company is loaded again. Now that normal companies are available, all the three. So in the group company one and three, because two we removed from the group, removed from the group. But the number company, number two company is available in the gateway of tally, and it is available in the database also. So we can make any entries in these companies. In this one, only these two are taken. If you make any change in the two, it will be there only. That is not taken in the group company because the group company two is not available. 
Okay, this is what it is. So, making this is all called alteration. That is, any changes made in the group companies, I mean, the member companies, or deleting a member company, or adding a member company, in all these cases, it, is, it means alteration of group company. Because when they are made something, group company is altered. So, like that. So, we understand now. So, group company, how to alter the group company means, altering the group company means making any changes in the information or making any changes in the deleting or adding of the deleting or adding of the member companies. When the new company is created, it is to be added, then it is to be closed and uh, reloaded. Without adding, it will not take. You have to add it, then close it and reload. And similarly, when you remove that, after removing that, after removing it, that is deleting a member company from the group company, then again, close the company, group company and reload the group company. Okay. So this is creating a group company, deleting, I mean, uh, altering a group company. Suppose if we don't want a group company, only these member companies, that is the regular companies are enough. Member companies are enough. Group company is not required. We want to close down the group company completely. That is deleting or removing from the database also. In such case, here you have to go. That is also any making any alteration or editing or deleting everything will be in the alteration button only. So in the alteration button we have to yeah, we are selecting the group company. We have to select the company, any company. We are selecting the company, you want to delete. Select that company, then press Alt D. So it will be deleted. Delete, Alt D means deleted completely from the gateway of tally as well as from the database that is select company page also. It is completely deleted. Now you see Alt D. It is asking delete question mark means do you want to delete? We said yes. Again, it is asking sure. Are you sure? Really, you want to delete? Yes. So it's close. You see here. So group company is not there. You go to database also. Here also, group company is not there. But these companies will be there. They will not go. If you delete them only, they will go. Now you can what you can do. If you want to make any changes or you can delete anything you can do with these companies. We keep them as it is, make entries or you make any changes or alteration, change the company. Now we are working with the one company, company number one, we are working, company number one. If you want to change, go to time two, go to time three. Anything you can do, make entries or in this case, company three, you see, select alter, select company three, make here, if you want to make, make any changes, then everything you can do. Suppose member company three, you can add the year, year you can add 22, 23. Then, and if you add there, it will show here also, here you have to remove. Here only name should be there. Here, the additional uh, additions, if we can add anything, extension we can add to know about the company. Okay. So here. So this is about all the group companies, creating a group company. Before that, you have to create member companies, then create a group company and add the member companies into the group company. And whatever entries you make, whatever alterations you make in the group company, member companies that will take effect in the group company. If you, out of the group company, I mean member companies, if you delete a member company or if you create a new company and add a new, add, add, what you add. If you add a new company or delete a new company, in those two cases, this group company is to be shut down. That is to be closed. And go back to select company page, database page, and then again reload that. Then the change that is added, the added group company or deleted group company, the change will be taken in the group company. The members deleted, any member or any new member added, the changes will be take effect, will take effect in the group company. Once you shut down, shut the company and reload the company. This is all about the creating the group company, creating alteration, altering or deleting the group company. Other companies are okay. Other com member companies are all regular companies, normal companies. So already we know about them. Our normal companies you can do. This is about this one. And to next tomorrow, next step, what after this, what we have to do. This is only an extra additional chapter we have taken. So companies are created, everything is okay. Companies created. Then we have to make entries. So for the entries, what we have to do? That we will take up in the coming videos. And again, once I'm requesting you, please subscribe to my channel. First of all, I'll tell you, I will thank you all for watching my, my watching. 
my videos and watching my channel and supporting my channel. Okay. So please subscribe to my channel. Click the bell icon and select all and then share with all your friends. Whoever require this accounting training, share with them. Even students or friends or anything, your colleagues or are you working accountants, anything, you, anybody, you can share with them and then watch the videos, every video till the end and after that, you like the video, every video, like the videos and post comment. It is must because if you post only, I can understand. Suppose I am not, my teaching is not good. So what is the problem you are facing with my teaching? If you post the comment, then I can understand, then I can change it. I can change it and I will, uh, next time in the next video, it will not repeat. Like sometimes I am well going, sometimes I will go a little fast so that I will reduce. So anyhow, you post the comments every for every video this is a thing and wish you all the best if you follow all these videos you will earn you i'm going what i'm how i'm going to take up these videos means you will get expert knowledge you can do any institute you will not get all this knowledge because many topics will be skipped by them i will not skip any topic i will teach each and every topic from basic to advanced with practical examples and live show, filing of returns, all these things also I will show. So you will get an expert knowledge. So follow this Matra channel and follow all the videos, every video till the end. Don't skip anything. Then you will be a, become a, you will get a very good knowledge. I mean, uh, expert knowledge. Then you will get a, a perfect knowledge, accountant. You will become a perfect accountant and be safe and be careful and wish you all the best and we'll meet in the next video. Thank you.